What do you get when Porsche crosses practicality, off-road capability, and sustainability? The Taycan Cross Turismo. When the Taycan first unveiled, Porsche showed us a glimpse of a sustainable and exciting future. With the Cross Turismo, however, this future seems a lot more capable, yet sleek. The Cross Turismo's design takes a minimalist approach, yet seems otherworldly. With distinctive LED lights, muscular wheel arches, roof rails, and side skirts, this vehicle creates a commanding presence that highlights its off-road capability. With up to 30 millimeters of ground clearance, this vehicle was made for adventure. With four electric motors and 375 horsepower, this red rocket sled gets to 60 in 4.8 seconds with a top speed of 137 miles per. The 79.2 kilowatt hour battery equipped in this Taycan is capable of a range of up to 235 miles. Being that this vehicle employs the use of a shooting brake design, there's ample room in both the front and rear, with almost 3 cubic feet of space in the front, and 15.8 cubic feet of space in the rear. However, this usage of space is bumped to 42.8 cubic feet with the rear seats folded. Alright, enough about the exterior, let's move inside. The cabin of the Taycan greets you with a meticulously crafted interior that blends luxurious materials with a driver-focused layout. Previous Porsche enthusiasts will feel entirely at home. With soft leather seats that hold you in place, both front and rear, the Taycan feels like it's made for silent, all-terrain activities. The Taycan's use of an entirely glass roof lends to the feeling of a wide-open atmosphere. There's plenty of technology to cover in the Taycan, but let's start with the gauge cluster. Being that this is a Porsche, everything is focused on driving and measuring performance. With the map directly in the center of the display, the gauge cluster also displays things such as a g-force meter and a stopwatch. However, just like most Porsches, if you're looking for a more analog stopwatch, the Taycan comes with one as well. The Taycan Cross Turismo also comes with several different drive modes, suited for very different purposes and for very different occasions. These drive modes, which can be activated by the steering wheel control knob, can increase steering feel and even raise or lower the suspension depending on the terrain. Also located on the steering wheel is both the recuperation button, which allows for brake regeneration, as well as the diamond shape button, which can be programmed for certain car functions. Being that the Taycan is Porsche's small glimpse of their future, there is plenty of technology in this vehicle, including three infotainment screens. The central infotainment screen controls many of the basic functions, including radio and media, navigation, as well as many of the driver's assistant features. Below that is another screen, which acts more as a touchpad. This takes the place of the physical buttons used to control your AC, and can even control where the airflow is directed in the vehicle. To the right of that is the passenger display. This has many of the same features as the center display, letting the passenger change the radio or select certain vehicle functions. This display can also let the passenger view performance data that would only be accessible to the driver's gauge cluster. To conclude our overview of the Cross Turismo, it becomes abundantly clear that this vehicle is nothing short of extraordinary. For those seeking an exceptional blend of capability, luxury, and sustainability, the Taycan Cross Turismo stands as a remarkable choice, a game changer in the electric vehicle landscape. A testament to human ingenuity, the Taycan is a symbol of progress. Brace yourself for what awaits, a symphony of electric power, unbridled capability, an unrelenting style. This is your invitation to embrace the extraordinary. This is the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. Okay.